Hey guys and welcome to another Element video tutorial. This time I'm going to show you the mute button on plugin nodes. It's a regular mute button that just mutes the output or the input. So first I will just show the standard default behavior. It's pretty straightforward. So just go ahead and mute it there. Um, it's normal. The default behavior is to mute the output. But there's this option here. You can mute the input ports. So this is useful for creating like a trail offs, I guess, um, like you would see in like a guitar stomp box so that the it'll still trail off the effect. So I'll just demonstrate that real quick here. So you can see that time around the reverb continues to go even though the mute button was pressed and that's because the inputs were being muted. So I just want to show you guys that. I'm not sure other hosts are doing stuff like that but Element is and have at it. Alright so this mute button is actually mappable and that leads me into another thing here. Let me open the controllers window here. I added some extra options to MIDI CC mapping. Um, well, number one, you can actually now edit your maps. So it's pretty convenient um, if you want to manually put stuff in or, or whatever, or if you got a bunch of notes you're mapping, I don't know. But anyway, uh, on the, the CC mapping, there's this toggle value. And so parameters that are toggleable um, when the CC comes in above this value, it'll toggle on, and when it comes in below, it will toggle off. And that's pretty much it, and you can set where that point is, right here. And the other option is toggle inversely, and what this does is, instead of toggling on over here, it'll toggle off and over here would actually toggle on so it, it'll do that when you check this on right here so just wanted to show you that um, hope this has been useful and we'll catch you in the next one peace out guys